Hello and welcome to Infinity. Affinity Photo does have a haze removal tool, but it's not the only tool you can use for doing that. And here's another way which has a different effect. First of all, let's just select the background here and hit Control J to do a duplicate. Turn off the top layer so the bottom layer will use the traditional filters and haze removal on it. And this does a pretty good job of doing this. And here's the effect. It's cut through that haze pretty well. It's got a fairly saturated um, approach here. This you know, has, has got a bit darker and so on, but that's okay. You can do exposure correction on it, although that just makes it a bit hazy. I'd rather leave it where it was. So let's apply that. And uh, that's non-destructive there. So Sorry, that is destructive, so that means you can't go back and tweak it. But let's go up to the top one now, turn that one on. And the fix is simply to go to the live filters and go to the unsharp mask which is a bit unusual to use at sharpening. And the trick is, you turn the radius up, and then you use the factor to control the effect. And because what it does is, it is a form of um, local contrast, which is being changed here. So if you zoom into this, into the detail here, so we can see this here. So as the fact factor goes down, see the contrast between ones nearby changes and as we take the factor up the contrast of adjacent pixels goes up which has this effect of cutting through the mist and haze. Um, you do get a fairly crunchy over sharpened look if you do this and you get halos appearing here and the trick here is to go into this cell here because you can type in more than at that. In fact the higher the better. So if you go up to a thousand which is pretty much as much as you go there you go, that's a very different approach. We do have the effect here that, that this is somewhat lighter. Look at the difference here. Let's just drag this onto the, that one there so that we can turn the top one layer off. There's a the traditional one. Here's the one using this. See the whites here have definitely got pretty white. And if you go all the way into it, you can see that there's been some, a certain amount of burn on it. Comes back, there it is. You can play with the factor here to on things, but a way of over of controlling that is to use click on this layer, the unsharp mask there, and go to the blend ranges here, because we can say uh, on the right hand one here, if I pull down the right here, it says don't apply this effect to the very very light areas. In fact, so there you go. That's brought that down. You can also Maybe bring up the middle a bit to let it be applied to the darker ones. Play around with that. Control zero, back out again. There you go. That's not as anywhere near as exaggerated. And you can play with this further. But the key thing, there you go. You have a means of alternative method of haze removal, which is non-destructive and which you can adjust. And doing a before and after there's before and there's after. Quite a significant difference. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.